So, as you can see here now, clear view to the Mount Everest. So I've been cleaning up my desk really to <laughs> to improve on that at least. It looks much nicer, and you also have a clearer conscience somehow of you. You know, you know. Uh, now I'm gonna start. So. Let's go and not all that rubbish around which you, you know, it confuses your brain somehow. So 5th of October now and um, um, 5 and um, 20, 25 days ago I started, 9-11 that was, you know, right the, you remember, the 9-11, yeah, everyone knows that, the Twin Towers. Yeah, fell over, fell down, had been brought down. Yeah, some wild stuff, really crazy stuff. And um, so that's uh, three weeks, three and a half weeks now. Okay, um, what is this all about? You're, you're getting bored. Okay, so you, you want some action. Okay, we want some action. And we want, um, you know, there is this concept, that underlying concept, and which I'm trying to, to point out or make sure you, you, you get um, to understand and and, um, and uh, that this is the, the, the main thing you do, one really needs. This is the probability concept. It's all about probabilities. I don't know any better than that, but as soon as you understand that whole concept, and I made lots of things with those probabilities. And I have to say and point out that somewhere, you know, there is this um, conjunction somehow between philosophy and mathematics. And this is the, the, the uniting thing. This is uh, the probabilities. Because it's all about probabilities. I mean, if you, if you want to, people would like to, to be able to tell the future, but as soon as they notice... Well, what, what would I do about it, right? What could, if I could really tell the future, if I knew something, you, you knew England were going to score, or there, there's one game, Arsenal to score against Burnley, I have no idea, uh, and, and after 20 minutes, how would you organize th things and to, to become a millionaire at least then, right? You know this goal is going to happen. But on the other hand, I mean, this is philosophy, right? You, you know something is going to happen, but um, you, you would not be able to uh, <laughs> prevent it if something bad were to happen. I'm going to die at the 22nd of June in, in 2027, no idea. And um, yeah, you shouldn't tell those things. I know it's not good. Yeah, it's not going to happen. No idea. Anyway, it's, it's, um, uh, if you knew, could you avoid it? No. You couldn't, but it makes no sense. Man. Yeah, Mankind are unable to... to overcome time to understand even to explain time so it's philosophy mathematics and the uh, the conjunction uh, there is um, the probabilities and this is the funny thing is that real mathematicians they would say well ooh, there's something uncertain about probabilities so they, they try to avoid it they want one or zero they want this is right this is wrong i can prove this is right i can prove this is wrong and this is all what mathematics are about, and probabilities are right between 0 and 1, right? Any upcoming event for the future does have a probability between bigger than 0 and smaller than 1. And anything in the past that had happened is 0 or 1. I, either it did happen or it did not happen. If you describe it, I mean, you can always say, yeah, a game is going to be win or or lose or so and then you say what about the draw yeah but you can say win or not win so did they win one yeah they won so it's a one one hundred percent did they lose did they not win yes this is one hundred percent or did they win zero percent for this in the past uh, in the past if you know what the result had been so yeah well this is philosophy i know but but into betting it means you know i was i was trying and i can do this at some point right how the, the graph develops somehow you know you, you're approaching uh, somehow a, a, uh, the outcome right during during a sports event you can say during a football game right you you get three lines actually win draw loss and they are they are somewhere between zero and one i, I will show that one day 
and then then they are moving towards the final outcome but never they reach it until the final whistle is going to come they reach this 100 percent i know if it's three nil and injury time you can say this is it reached 100 percent still would not be the case for there could still be the atom <laughs> <laughs> Bob, the <laughs> jet, <laughs> going to the. I know it, yeah. I had something to interrupt the game, right? And uh, which happened actually, right? There were there was uh, games that were certain winners, and and they know what was going to happen, but all of a sudden a pitch invasion because because uh, people were unhappy, so the game had to be interrupted, and even a betting market, which we are tr still trying to describe here in this philosophy. Uh, philosophic um, um, discourse. No, I don't know what the word is. Um, and um, uh, so it happened, and they had to give the money back. So there were some were really disappointed, and others were really happy because they got their money back, and they in a game they had lost already. So this is never one hundred percent until the final whistle, or yeah, there could still be a, yeah, uh, in what is it intervention that uh, they say something was wrong in the game. That, uh, that happened in Bayern against Nuremberg. When Helmer scored, the ball was not in. The game had to be replayed. That was 2-1, the goal. So uh, Bayern were declared winners, but the game was replayed because they said the ball was not in by far and wide. So the, the game had to be replayed. So even, even the final whistle does not clarify the outcome, really, 100%. Because there's still the, the chance for some protest. Don't know English. What do you they would say? Anyway, yeah, well, I'm yeah. Okay, you're going away. I know. But what I wanted to tell you today is about, you know, this is something. It's about probabilities as well. But this is, you know, it's something. Yeah, Germans they don't really understand. And abroad, usually people they you should be happy about what you hear here, unless you are German maybe. But <clears throat> It's really uh, a great thing, thing to notice, and, and if you really follow this, I, I will try to, to extend this, because you can't do everything at once, like Lenka does. Ev everything at once. Okay, um, here I was uh, trying to show you a couple of uh, things about this World Cup history, German World Cup history or big competitions history because there are other events and, and the, the, the Germans they don't really know that you know what, what I'm trying to somewhere work out this is luck right people what, what, what they think what would you think anyone think about luck what is luck I mean this is small probabilities coming true small probabilities in your favor coming true uh, things, yeah, you, you would not expect to happen uh, going this way or that way, right? But if you, if you have, um, yeah, there are probabilities for, for plenty of things. And, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a very complex subject, this luck. But Germany had been lucky in many of those competitions. And as I uh, uh, tried to show here, and of course we need some, some pictures here, Germany against uh, Hungary, maybe everyone does remember, so that was the, the big 3-2. Uh, Germany had lost the war in 1945, nine years later they tried to come back into normal life and, and somehow the Wirtschaftswunder was on, uh, underway and uh, things like that. So, I mean, maybe the world was even somehow on their side, but Hungary were the better team. So let's have a look here. I'm, I'm just trying to show you here I mean, there, there were those many moments in which Germany simply got lucky in this game. I mean, oh, did you see this chance? I mean, I, I can, you know, this is one uh, um, I can show you. Okay, look at this chance, for example. I mean, it's, it's just it's 2 2 then. Okay, so. This was one of the great saves, and here we can go through 6:39. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, go here. Another one. Okay, mm, not such a great one. 
649, okay. Uh, okay, so we should have just uh, gone on. Look at this! Inside. And he said it, he said it that like luck was on our side, right? This uh, commentator, he said luck was on our side. I mean, they, they may have noticed then how lucky they were, right? So this was after the goal, right? I'm, I'm not sh even showing this. 3-2, everyone remembers it, maybe. Look at that. I mean, this would have been, they were really angry. I mean, Hungary were the better side. I mean, if you can, you can study plenty of uh, pictures and, and, and uh, historic, uh, what people say about it, right? Um, it is just, um, they, who was the better, who were the better team? I mean, place it anywhere, but he, okay. They were angry, no, they, they couldn't believe what happened. They won 8-3 in the, in, the, in the group stage. And, and uh, so they, they felt this was a walkover, but they knew there was some resistance. But at that point, no one in Germany or nowhere in the world thought about German luck or something like that, right? Uh, but, but uh, okay, you just simply can say this is um, here, they got lucky. And look at this goal line clearance here. And look at this. Okay, I'm, I'm getting confusing myself, right? Look at this. Uh, no. Okay. Those are the... <laughs> Look at that. They simply wanted to put some more well, past the line. They didn't manage to. They were the better side, so simply say, as simple as that, right? But it happens, you know, sometimes the, the weaker side can win, and this was, you know, this was, but somehow this was, for me, this was a starting point from all that history, right? Do we have one more, 9 to 10, 9 to 0? Yeah, and there are more to come, right? Look at this. No. Crossbar. Okay, another one. Look at that. Another one. Can you believe? He just... I mean, this was just... They were so unlucky. I mean, how... You, you should feel... Uh, no, it was still 2-2 then. But they, they... Look at that. No, you can't believe it. I mean... So many chances. With, with, um, Okay, mm, 9.50. Okay, let's, let's take a little look at this one, okay. There was a chance for Germany as well, but now look at this. Okay. <laughs> Can you believe it? Oh man, and now they rebound. Rebound. Come on. No. Now the winner. Who would like to see the winner? Would you like to see the winner? This was where it all started, right? This is how it all began with the... Um, and then the offside goal and another one, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm, you can't see here the, whether it had been offside. But there was another incredible save. So let's have a look at this one. This was after the 3 2. No. No, this was after the goal. They were still celebrating and now went on. No, they, they keep replaying this winner. Now he said 3-2 for Hungary, because the, the goal was so much on the guard, right? <laughs> now he corrected it. And another one. No, this was the offside. 
goal here. No, they were still celebrating. Look at that. And now it was ruled out. You can't see from here whether it has been offside, right? No, no, the, the last one, right? I'm, I'm, they, they were so desperate, they couldn't get it. No, they couldn't get it through. Yeah, anyway, um, 15 minutes already. I mean, this was 1954 World Cup and some some early, uh, you know, there are lots of more of those stories to come. But I, I should rather pause this here or stop this one here. It's, it's uh, yeah, I've been talking a lot. But it was, you know, just to, to summarize it somehow, right? It's everything, it's a matter of pop, uh, probabilities. This is all I'm trying to say. Philosophy, yeah, you, you never know what is going to happen until it is finished, right? So the uh, real prophet waits for things to happen and then he's uh, going to predict, right? Anyway, uh, it is... Um, uh, and there are small probabilities coming through. And here, the small probability for Germany to win the cup. I mean, how did they get there and so on. But it is a small probability, but it can happen. Anything can happen, right? It's, it's, you can only tell a story about this if there is a history within this. So when it's repeating itself, so to say, right? So rather just make sure, I mean, Germany won the cup. Maybe everyone was, you know, they, 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 all the world, they also, you know, heads off. Okay, well done. You, you, you really a tough fight and, and you were lucky, okay, but we, we don't mind. I mean, this can happen, okay, congrats. But actually, most parts of the world would rather say let the better team to win because they, they simply say, well, if they play better, they should win. But they, no one would say, okay, we are en envious, we don't want you to do this, right? We, we don't want this to happen. But they would, when they would, yeah, if this happens repeatedly, and then you, you would say, well, is the, the luck well distributed or is it somehow <laughs> uneven? But no one who's unlucky would rather say, uh, you should not be lucky. But, but he wishes maybe at some point, oh, why, why wouldn't uh, luck turn my way? But he can't say, well, yeah, please, dear God, whoever, uh, could you <laughs> give me some more luck? I don't know, you know, it's, it's really... But um, the Germans, there, there's a misinterpretation from this, uh, what it results in. So I'll leave you with this, but I'm, I'm going to come back and you see here in 1966, and there's lots of, and, and plenty of interesting stuff within that that, I, that I'm trying to point out, and, and you should watch it. Uh, okay? Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Anyway, I'll leave this as is, and hope to see you soon, and leave your comments or likes or dislikes if you don't. Anyway, thanks a lot. Bye. Thanks for watching.